This is the first battery less Victron energy inverter. So until you decide to install batteries over here, you can work with this one only with solar module and consumption. And of course, we we'll act as a grid tie inverter. So in this video, we're gonna test it. I'm gonna show you how you can set up this, what are the limitations, and of course, I'm gonna show you how we can do it. So let's get started. Nice you have you back at CS Tech Audio here. So this is the first inverter from Victron Energy that can work without batteries and of course can act as a normal grid tie inverter until you decide to add batteries. Once you install batteries, you can, you're gonna transform this on-grid inverter into a fully hybrid Victron inverter with all the function that you already have in Victron products. So I'm gonna make a very, very small recap. If you don't see my other videos related to this inverter, I'm gonna explain you that this one has five kilowatts output power, has built-in two MPPT trackers. Each one can handle around three kilowatts of solar module. So in total, you have six kilowatts of solar power. You have Bluetooth built-in. You have an app that you can see everything that's happening in real time in your inverter. And of course, if you add more accessories, for example, if you add a smart meter, or a JX device, you can transform this one in a fully on-grid inverter and can work like that for many years. So in this video, I'm gonna start uh, with accessories because in order to make uh, an on-grid inverter, you need some accessories. The first one, it's inverter. Over here, you have solar module connected and of course you have the grid, but in order to measure and in order to see the energy fluxes from where you pick energy, how you distribute energy and how much you consume for your devices, you need a smart meter. The only smart meter that it's uh, supported by this device, it's also from Victron Energy. I think you already noticed my other video, the name is VM3P75CT. 75 is the amps, CT it's uh, uh, the reading point because this has an indirect measurement. So you have some CT and you're gonna connect to a conductor. And of course, once you do that, you're gonna read the energy through this one. This one has LAN interface and of course has CAN, so I recommend you to connect it directly to CAN to the Cherbo JX unit. Once you install the smart meter, you want to connect with inverter, so only with a normal network cable, so not any fancy cables, just use a normal RJ45 cable between smart meter to inverter and from inverter you're gonna connect everything with the same cable directly to JX device and of course everything here will be calculated. Once you install a JX device in your system, of course, you're gonna connect to internet and of course all the information will be broadcasted to VRM portal and even more you can access your inverter remote from wherever you are because we'll be connected to VRM and of course you are able to, to see and make all the settings remotely from wherever you want. Over here you can add some more accessories, for example, you can add a display from Victron, but you have the HDMI cable over here, connector over here, and you can add a third party monitor or even more, you can see my other video, you can use your tablet as a monitor. So basically, in my opinion, if you want to make your first Victron setup, you need the inverter, you need the meter, and of course you need the JX unit. Here are two limitations that come from Victron. The first one, it's a software limitation. And of course here, we are now in September 2025. And of course, in this moment, the software solution for this one is not developed yet. And of course, this solution will uh, make some problem for many of you. And let me explain you what's about. First, you need to have a license in order to feed energy to the grid. So you need to uh, check with your operator if they allow you to fit to the grid and once they allow you to fit to the grid will be not a problem because you can start feeding energy to the grid. The problem will be for the one that are not allowed yet to feed energy to the grid and in this situation because it's a software limitation Victron is not able in this moment with this device to turn on the PV production limit the production only for home consumption. So in this moment, even me, I try several software solution in Node-RED in order to figure out how to limit this one. I think I'm gonna solve it, but I think I need some time. But please keep in mind, in the moment you buy this product and you <laughs> are in September 2025, you cannot limit the MPPT the, and the production only for your consumption. So the only way that you can use this as a grid inverter is to be able to feed energy to the grid from the beginning just leave it open and the inverter will make energy. In that way, uh, your consumption uh, from your home will be uh, sustained by inverter and of course the rest of the energy will go to the grid as a, a grid tie inverter, like a grid tie inverter. 
So this is the first limitation. The second limitation is related to something hardware. In my, op in my opinion, it's not a limitation, but in, for some of you can be a problem and I'm gonna explain you very, very short. As you know, Victron has three connection points. You have AC in, AC out one, AC out number two. AC in basically is the grid. AC out one, basically it's a, a critical output basically everything that is connected over there and you have batteries will be sustained from battery and from solar when the grid is missing and of course you have ac number two ac number two is designed for high consumption loads for electric car for boilers for heat pump so basically anytime that grid is available and you have production and you have batteries that ac number two will be also power from that energy but when the grid is missing the ac number two will be shut down so all the high consumption devices will be turned off for me it's okay but we have a limitation when we are using this one without batteries Victron recommend us to not connect anything on that output so nothing connected on ac number one and ac number two and i'm going to show you in the next part of the video when i'm going to do the test why victron won't recommend you to connect them is not the reason uh, that they not work they are working they're working correctly but some devices can be affected by uh, missing the production and rising the production let me be very very fast and very clear you have production you have 2000 watts production the production is going to inverter the grid is missing you have something connected on ac number one the inverter will work because has enough production from the sun in order to keep on this heater for example that has only one kilowatt so basically you still have one more kilowatt production but in the moment when the sun is going into the cloud the production will drop and in that moment Victron don't have from where to pick you that energy and of course it's going to shut down your load for many devices this will be a problem imagine a fridge if a fridge will be shut down and turn it on in five minutes because you cannot control the sun the sun will rise will go into the clouds will rise so in that moment without the battery the victron will turn off turn on turn on turn off so this is the reason why victron won't let you to connect anything there of course in our test we're gonna connect there i'm gonna show you how this one act so i'm gonna make a test a very very fast and clear test I'm not gonna using any smart meter. I'm not, I'm not gonna using any JX device. Basically, let's pretend I'm a customer. I just buy my first Victron. I don't have enough money to buy everything that I want. So I just stop at inverter. I have five kilowatts inverter. So I have two MPPT trackers. I'm gonna connect solar module and I'm gonna use it on my home. So the first thing that we need to connect over here is the PV. So in our case, we have a power supply. This one can handle us, I think 1.3 kilowatts. So we have negative and positive and I'm gonna connect it to string number one. This inverter has two strings. Basically you can connect two uh, separate strings. And of course, in this moment, everything is set to 400 volts. Let's turn on the power supply. I set the value to 400. I'm gonna put the link for this power supply because you're gonna ask me into the description below. So this one will make around 400 volts. So I have DC to inverter. Let's turn on the DC. So in this moment, my inverter will receive energy only from the sun. So let's turn on also the inverter. So the power supply, it's activated. I have sun and as you can see, the inverter is turned on. As you can notice, AC in, so basically my grid is not connected over here if i have to connect to the grid let's connect my inverter to the grid because i have over here in this moment a grid tie inverter so my inverter is connected to the grid we need to wait a few seconds they need to mesh he need to measure the grid and of course it's gonna sync with the grid so everything is sync over here i'm gonna use my phone in this test because i don't want smart meter right now i don't want any gerbo jx i just want my smart my smartphone so because this one has Bluetooth, let's connect to Victron Connect. Let's say Victron Connect. Okay, let's connect. Let's go to local. And as you can see over here, I have my inverter. Let's connect. The screen is flicker. And of course, as you can see, I have my dashboard. In this moment, my inverter has act as a normal on-grid inverter. I cannot see any energy fluxes because the smart meter in me is missing, but I'm gonna demonstrate to you that will work so let's set up this one as a grid pv inverter as you can see over here battery show 100 percent this is a lie because the battery is not connected i'm gonna go to the settings to a ess ess mode and i'm gonna select pv inverter the inverter will gonna restart 
this one is connected to AC input, so it's connected to phase number one. Let's go back to dashboard, and in this moment, as you can see, all the details from battery was disappear was disappear for here. Sorry for my English, I'm not a native English speaker, so if I misspell something, don't hate me. Okay, as you can see, I I have 500 watts from PV, and of course I'm gonna feed it to the grid. Okay, let's go to grid settings, and of course I'm gonna remove the limit in this moment. And of course, 1.3 kilowatts is coming from a power supply, and of course, and of course, it's going to the grid. Uh, I'm gonna put it to 500 watts because this one will make a lot of noise, and I'm gonna show you. Let's feed it 500 watts. It's okay. Okay. We're gonna remove the cover over here and we're gonna connect the heater. Once you remove this cover, be very uh, sure what are you doing. I recommend you to call someone that is uh, it's authorized to do that because you are working with high voltages, as you can see, 400 volts DC from PV and of course 230 from the grid. So it's very dangerous to open this uh, cover without any uh, permission from your electrician and maybe they should do that. So over here you're gonna see the connection points that I'm told to talk you about it. So if you have AC1, AC, uh, AC in, AC1 and AC2. In our case, if we read the Victron manual without batteries, we must connect only the load directly to AC number uh, to AC in. So in this moment, I have production and of course I have energy over there. But as you can see, without any smart meter, I cannot see anything what happening over here. So I don't know how much energy that one drain, and I only see how much energy I've got from my solar module. Okay, let's do something that Victron don't recommend to do. Let's connect my consumption to AC number one. So basically, in this moment, as you can see, the power supply start to make a lot of noise. But also my heater start and as you can see on the app I have consumption 1000 watts and of course the rest of the energy come directly from my PV. So in this moment my PV sustain my load. Let's pretend we don't have any grid. So in this moment the inverter was disconnected from the grid, you heard the noise. But even that my system is fully working. Let's wait a few seconds because my system needs to reconnect. And as you can see, in this moment, my load is sustained by my solar system. This will be okay if you know that you have a product that is not sensitive to energy movement. In my case, let's reduce the production. I'm gonna reduce the amps. So the sun go directly to the cloud. So once the sun go down, also the load what's off. Okay, let's rise the sun again. Let's shine the sun again, in fact. We wait a few seconds, in some cases took around 6 seconds, in some cases took around 20 seconds, I think it depends on the power supply, because the MPPT need to measure the power supply. Let's wait a few seconds, so the power supply start, and of course my load, load we're gonna start right now. So as you can see over here without any grid, without any grid, the grid is over here. My inverter is running directly from solar. So this is the way that you can use this one without battery with energy directly from the sun. It's not a recommended thing to do because many appliances can suffer in this way. So the only way that Victron recommended to have a safe appliance is to connect the loads only on AC in. So not in uh, AC out one and two. But the inverter will work and of course if you have if you have 5 kilowatts of solar production, you can have 5 kilowatts of energy here on output. So I think this is the way that you can work with uh, without batteries. Now let's pretend you buy batteries without any cost, without anything. You just go into the ESS and you select keep battery charge. The system will restart. And of course, right now you're going to receive a message that battery is low because as you can see, <laughs> my battery are over there. So let me cancel this alarm. Okay, so in this moment, my system is working like a normal hybrid inverter, like any Victron inverters on the market. So in my opinion, there are two limitations. The first one, you cannot uh, stop feeding energy to the grid and make energy only for your consumption. 
only if you are allowed to fit to the grid so without that permission you cannot use the inverter to feed your uh, house consumption and of course the second limitation basically for me is not a limitation for me it's a good thing but for many of you and for your appliance can be a problem so in several cases can be a problem so for many of you cannot do cannot be so this is Victron multi RS and this is the way that you can work without batteries so let's turn off the sun it does make a lot of noise now, if you have any questions about uh, this setup and of course you want to know more about this inverter, I recommend you to use the comment area below and of course ask us everything that you want. And of course for those who want more technical advice and technical information, into the description below you're gonna find a link. That link will uh, go you directly to our WhatsApp group because we have a WhatsApp group. We are living in Europe, in Romania, we have a WhatsApp group in Romania. But of course we're gonna extend that group international because we have a lot of people all over, from all, all over the world that want our experience because we are using Victron for several years. I think we have 12 years of experience with Victron products. So I think we can give you some advices in different situation. I'm Claudio from the CS Tech and before I close this video, I recommend you to subscribe to our channel. And of course, we'll take you only two seconds to do that. And of course, press the bell, press the subscribe. And once we publish a new video online, you're gonna receive a notification. I hope you learned something from this video and of course, see you in the next one. Bye.